so hey saints it's um it's me sister with a testimony i'm out here in the woods this morning got my little camo on yeah it's bright orange like want to make sure you know whoever's out here sees me right so i'm out in the woods see the woods woods yay uh, literally, I'm just hearing the bugs and the birds and everything. It kind of got a little bit cool in, in Texas. 57 degrees. I'm like, woohoo! I said, Lord, I would love to have a little rain and some cool weather. And check it out, saints. I got some little, little bit of rain and some cool weather. And I'm just enjoying the, oh my gosh, the sounds of fall. Um, you know, ooh, that smells good. And, um... I had put orange socks on today and then I wound up with having to go and find a a sweatshirt because it was so cool when I went to walk and pray and it was orange so I'm like oh check it out see the Lord knows stuff I wanted to talk to y'all today it was so funny because I'm, I'm walking and praying I'm, I'm just you know talking to the Lord and uh, this morning I heard hillbilly mentality and I'm like you know, all I can think of is the Beverly Hill, Hillbillies. And I used to love to watch the, the Beverly Hillbillies. And um, I know a lot of people, and I looked that word up in the dictionary, Hillbillies. And it could be a term of contempt. But I didn't I didn't take it as contemptuous. I, I took it in a good way. And I started thinking and talking and walking. And it's like I'm in the woods. So check this out. This was the meaning of Hillbillies. Or hillbilly a person who lives in or comes from the mountains or the backwoods of the south specifically uh, first day with my new lips uh, specifically Appalachia sometimes a contemptuous term and I'm like I think hillbillies are awesome I would consider myself a hillbilly at this point in my life because first of all I looked up backwoods I want to say okay well I understand what the mountains are but what about the backwoods because you hear oh you know you come from the backwoods I'm like yeah, I, I'm cool with that because I've always loved the woods and we lived in a sparsely, uh, very small town when I was little and I grew up in, in the country out in the backwoods and I'd go out and play in the woods. And I was always talking to the Lord then, just didn't have that understanding. But the backwoods are heavily wooded areas far from centers of population. Hmm. Any remote, thinly populated place. I am a hillbilly. Woohoo! Yes! I'm in the backwoods. I'm loving life. I, it wouldn't be... The only thing that would make it any better is if I was the hillbilly in the backwoods in the mountains. But uh, I'm not, so that's okay. I'm in a remote, thinly populated place because I've, I've literally been separated from everybody and everything. And the Lord has shut people out of my life away from me um he has told me it's a new season move on and there's people that cannot go to you go with you to some of the places that you're going to go because they're either not ready they won't get ready they refuse to do their part or they just they could never survive with the mentality that they have where you are going so it's very difficult when you love folks and you, you know, you love their personalities or you love who they are just for who they are. Friends, family, co-workers, you know, you truly do care for people. But when the Lord tells you to move on, you best be learning to move on. Um, you can look at the hillbilly mentality two ways. You can look at it in a good way or you can look at it in a bad way. So I choose to look at it in a good way because... I know the Lord was speaking to me about a hillbilly mentality. So I started thinking on that, saints. And um, this is what I came up with personally. You might have some, some different thoughts. Uh, hillbillies are not worldly people. They don't care to be in the world. They don't care to visit the world. They don't care to be indoctrinated or brainwashed by the world. And they stay away from folk. You know, they, they go to town once a month and, and stock up or once every three months and stock up and go home and stay there. They're simplistic people. They're simple 
people, and I don't mean simple-minded, I mean simplistic lifestyles. They're down-to-earth people. They're fiercely protective of what is theirs and their property and their possessions. They are fiercely protective of their belief system. They're unwilling to conform to the world and change. They're set in their ways. And, and I like this one that, that I come up with. You know, this is just me thinking and studying on hillbillies. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it, and I'm going to add this to it. If it is broken, you can't fix it. Only Jesus, Yahushua Hamashiach can fix it. So check it out. I was like, okay, Lord, well, give me some more on hillbilly mentality before I, you know, say anything. Because you don't want people to get offended. But, you know, they're going to get offended anyhow. So get over it and move on. And if you're a hillbilly, you won't be conforming to the world. Just be a hillbilly, okay? Run for the hills, Forrest, because they're coming. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. You must put up with each other. If you have a reason to blame someone, you must do them a favor just as the anointed one did favors for you. You must do favors to other people. And I said, Lord, what has that verse I read it in the King James Version. It was like, you know, I understand that we have to forgive and we have to um, not hold grudges. We have to forgive if we want to be forgiven, saints. So I'm checking this out today and I'm reading it. And I went and got my source New Testament and uh, it just puts it in a little plainer English for folk. Check it out. You must put up with them. You must put up with each other. Wow. Now think about that. You can pick your nose. You can pick your seat. You can pick a whole lot of things in life, but you cannot pick your family. Okay? I love me some hillbillies because they do not conform to the world. They're simple people. They are not going to change what they believe to conform. Okay? They're going to protect what they believe to know to, to be the truth. You know, folks can look down their nose at hillbillies. They look down, you know, they're not very intelligent people. They're probably a whole lot more intelligent than we ever give them any credit for. They just weren't educated in man's ways. Yeah. See, they simple folk. Yeah. So, you can't pick your family, saints. And if you're a part of the family of Jesus Christ, you can't pick your family. You don't have to live with them in the same cabin in the backwoods, but you you still, they're your brothers and sisters. Think about that. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 10, if you read toward the end of that chapter, you're going to find out, We all partake of that cup of blessing. And we're all part of the same body. Yeah. So, I'm coming to you today with a simplistic hillbilly mentality. I love you. God bless you. I don't have a problem being in the backwoods. It's quiet, it's peaceful. I'm listening to the bugs, listening to the birds. I hear the traffic. The only thing that would make this perfect, perfect, is if I truly was out in the mountains, in the backwoods, away from any major populated areas. But you know what, saints? We cannot run and hide and have a bad hillbilly mentality. Because at some point you got to go into the world and you got to tell them the truth and you got to love and accept and forgive. You must put up with each other. Remember that, saints. We are in this race to finish it, not to be the only winner.
okay? We need to help each other to finish the race. Um, Real tree. Yeah, I'm not advertising for them. I'm just saying, uh, let's find the real tree. How about it? Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Hmm, think about that. This is Sister Street, a sister with a testimony, being real in the woods. God bless you. I love you, saints. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and by the way, if you read Colossians chapter 3, the whole chapter, it's really, really good. So I encourage you to read the entire chapter. And in the meantime, most of you probably won't. Uh, just remember, you got to put up with each other and you can't pick your family. You can pick your nose, you can pick your seat, but you can't pick your family. God bless you. I love you. Hillbillies rock in Jesus. Amen. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua over you to hide and protect and keep you. Later.